How about another round for Bruise Day Tuesday? Here is Hawk and Big Nate. Ah, got sprayed in the face. Oh, this one was okay for I me. I shouldn't have had it so close to my face. Well, you that, know, <clears throat> that pregame we did was a little foamy, too, so it might have been the Jeep ride over here. Shook up our beer. Did you buckle it in? I did, did you not. buckle up for beer safety? Actually, it was on the floorboard, which is like, oh, yeah. We're going to get a shake. It's going to roll Go on, get a shake. Put your paint there and drive from the paint store. Mm-hmm. You can paint. Every, every beer is a milkshake IPA. This one is definitely a milkshake IPA. So I'm drinking uh, Westbrook Brewing Company. I was just looking. I think they're also out of. Mm-hmm. Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, but I'm sure that's in the Columbia area. So it's a triple India pale ale, and it's almost a Huck birthday session. 10.5%. Triple India pale ale. This will be a good one. All right, so I've got the Edmonds Oast Brewing. I think that's Oast. Yeah, it's, it's Oast. Coast without a C, okay? So got to be Oast. Uh, Viridi Rex, which I'm assuming is Latin for something. The Double India Pale Ale coming out of Charleston, South Carolina, of course. Not a lot of information on the can, other than the fact that the ABV is 9.5. This is, uh, this is more I'm talking about. Also, one of the coolest labels I've seen. You, you, you have another one there in your cooler, and they seem to like run with a theme. It's a simple monochromatic label. What's the name of it? The Viridi Rex, V I R I D I. I'm looking that up. I think Rex is king. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what Viridi. There's Viridian. That's a shade of green. And there's a video game. It's classical music. It's classical music? Mm Mm-hmm. Verity. Verity? Oh, no, that's Verity. I don't know. V-E-R-I-D-I? Yes. They made it up. I think they did, too. So, But maybe they're playing on classical music. Well, Viridian is green, so I feel like it's got to have something to do with green. But it's a monochromatic label, so that can't be right. It says something about light. Light. Anyway, we digress. What were we talking about? Kayaks? Edmund and kayaks. Kayaks. So, uh... Have you, uh... I, I used to canoe... And then I rented some kayaks, but now I have a pretty high-end perception kayak. But the problem is it's skinny and agile, and I am neither. So I want to get the – it's a 12-foot out there on a Jeep right now. And I wanted to get a fishing – same model, but it's like six inches wider. And it's got fishing pole holders. And everything I've read says, buy this for the seat. So <laughs> apparently it has the most comfortable kayak seat ever. Now, you should call them, can, I, can I just buy the seat? Right. Maybe just put the like, seat in my I want to use it as an office chair. But it, it's, I searched online, of course, pretty much, you know, I guess it's the Evergreen. All the kayaks are on the Evergreen ship in the Suez Canal, still waiting for oh, them to We're never going to see that. So you can't get a kayak. And I mean, I know people that do kayaking and they said well we went to order kayaks and they said oh yeah will see us in 2022 because we sold all 2021 ones but Nobody's i found seen one them. i found one in in oregon and i just couldn't pull the trigger because it's 500 dollars shipping but i probably should i mean well what you do is you just load up the brv and go to oregon that's what i'm thinking pick it up i mean and backcountry country probably spend more than 500 in, in gas and 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 right but i mean trip. i don't mind going to oregon we want to go to Northern California this summer anyway and see the big trees. The big trees. Well, it sounds like you have to make the trip to Oregon yeah, as well. Yeah. I've got a search out basically on Google. I don't know if you ever use the Google search function <clears throat> where it'll do a search. Like you should always do like Big Nate just to see if somebody's talking any trash about you, right? <clears throat> I do Huck, Huck's Beer Buzz, you know, just to see. All, every, every day I get a report of who's talking about me, which is normally nobody. Fine people. I don't care. My feelings are fine. Don't worry about it. But anyway, 
So I'm doing a kayak search and every day I get an article about how you can't get a kayak. Wait, I already knew that. I think I need to rephrase my question. It's crazy. It's possible. Target your search further. Yeah. See, I just Googled Big Nate. And thankfully there is a, a, a comic book series by Lincoln Pierce. He started go. in the Sunday funny papers. So uh, he's taking all the heat. So my thing is, I was talking about my skinny agile kayak is every time I go somewhere, when I get to the class two, the, the hard class two or class three rapid, I'm the guy that hits the rock. It's the oh, shh, rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's always the rock. And it's always, and they always tell me about the rock because they know me, my people I go with, they're like, huh. There's a OS rock right up there and you need to make sure you do this or that. I'm like, how do you do that? Cause I, I hang a right <laughs> and I hang a left <laughs> and then the rock sucks me in. Oh, bam, flip over. Well, maybe if they didn't tell you about the rock, you wouldn't aim directly for it. I know, I know. So I was on just my don't own. Don't tell me, I'll figure it out. The other day I tried to get people to go and everyone to go. So I went, I just did like an hour and a half. Uh, I did Pembroke to, to uh, Ripple Mead. But actually, I went past Ripple Mead because the road to Ripple Mead is like a mile long. Yeah. So I just pulled off at the first place. Liz followed me and dropped the Jeep off. But I'm going from my house in Pembroke. Basically, I can almost carry the kayak down to the river. I did not. I took it in the truck. But I could almost do that. And so I go and I, at the first rapid, I, I've got to run this section about 20 times. Just I'm going to do it yeah. like three times in a day, one day. But it's like the first thing is it splits right at the top and it's class two rapid on the left. So I'm like, Oh, I'm smart. I'm not, not going to go down the class C rapid on the left. I'm going to the right. So I go to the right. It's like, oh, this is fine, fine, fine. But what happens in the class C rapid is it drops 20 feet over a quarter mile. Yeah. Well, when I went on this side, da, 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 it drops 40 feet over 10 feet because at the end of the little fun thing, there's a drop off. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, I'm going to die. But I did not. So I went through like four or five rapids. But the thing, I, the, it, there's a river that goes to the left of the river, and I have never been over there. And I didn't really notice it before, because I've only been down that section a couple of times. Usually we go from, from Ripple Mead to the Bluffs. That's our normal one, or from mm -hmm. Eggleston to Ripple Mead. Those are our two main runs. But when you're by yourself, you know, I don't want to do anything too drastic. No. And uh, just as a side note, if you go from the Bluffs to the campground down there in, uh, is that Narrows? I think it's Nairs. I think the locals pronounce it Nairs. Nairs. Nairs? Nairs. Nairs, I Virginia. I've seen the sign. <laughs> you should follow the, Just look at the Giles scanner feed. Did, uh, what's going on up on the on the river? Oh, they uh, got to do a rescue. Well, I've seen the fire truck. It's <laughs> like, where's this? I, I'm talking like that now because I'm living there. It's like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I've seen that you did that. We we had one here recently on the on the new river too. I, I followed the Montgomery County scan. Yeah, so the day I went down the river by myself, somebody got killed. But now, in fairness, you know I am an old man. He was only fifty seven, but or fifty nine. I don't know. He's right. I was older than him, but he was in a canoe. Number one. Eesh. Number two, McCoy. I'm pretty sure he went through the falls. Yeah. Now, if you start below the falls. I haven't done that section yet, but that's on my list. You're fine. But also, what was he not wearing? His life jacket. So here's the thing. I'm cool. You know, I'm Huck, and I don't wear my life jacket until you hear the noise, until you hear the rapid. And even my, my eight-year-old granddaughter and I kayak a lot. She's like, Pops, life jacket, rapids. So it just says that. Yeah. Pops, life jacket, rapids. I'm on it. So I put my life jacket on for the rapids because you don't know. You could hit your head. Yeah, go unconscious. And the other thing is, get a high end life jacket. Get a real one. I don't mean, buy a twenty dollar life jacket. It, it Your life is worth more than that. That's one thing I've noticed here. You know, living by the river is there's a lot of people who who do exactly that. Don't wear a life jacket, and it's like, well, their body could be found in three days. Their body could be found never. Right, never so, happened. So at the very least, you don't want to be a missing persons case. The Native American name for the new river is the death river so there you have it so but i mean i have we got a cabin up in uh eagle rock virginia it's on airbnb it's called cabin on craig's creek if you want to rent it anyway you can go it's five miles to the james so it's a cabin on a creek but the creek's 100 feet wide there and it's shallow it's like two or three feet but you can go that run in like three and a half hours yeah. 
But the reason I bring this up is not so that you'll run my cabin and send me money, which I would appreciate if you can, but it's because even on that little tiny creek, there's two places that I generally dump. One of them's this tree that's up in the river, and I never can get far enough left, and it always just catches the edge and puts me in. And the last time I was towing my granddaughter's kayak because she was riding with her aunt, and uh, then it got stuck, and some fisherman came and saved me. I don't think I would have made it had not been for the fishermen. I, I was going to say. Oh, I could have made it, but not, without the kayaks, I would have been downstream by myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've, I've always fall almost every time, but I did not fall the other day my hour and a half by myself. Now, would you say you're a competent swimmer? I used to be a water safety instructor. So yes, I am a competent swimmer. That's but a, I mean, old age does a lot of things to you. That one's always fun to me. My I also head. have feet that are about the size of ducks. So <laughs> I used to, when I was competitively swimming, I could win because my feet were almost like wearing fins. I have a d- d- quadruple E foot. So it's like my, my that, feet are like swim fins. That there is a, an evolutionary it is. advantage. It is. Also, my, uh, my Albanian. So I have a huge lung capacity. So those things. I could hold my breath for almost three minutes back when I was competitively swimming. So you didn't have to pull your head up. You just keep swimming. Let's just keep swimming. Keep swimming. I, uh, one, one of my dear friends, he always wants to go kayaking. The thing is, is, he cannot swim and, and so i was dude I, I know you're a grown-ass man take some swim lessons and then we'll go kayaking or canoeing what? or whatever but until then like i'm not having that on my mind while we're trying to relax you, that you could just drown it you any don't second. need to swim hey he, he you he, need to wear a life jacket a good one yeah to keep your head up and then all you do is keep your feet downstream that's story that's all you really need What's to know is he seems to have a fear of the water like we've, we've had oh, well, then, him, yeah. we've had him in our pool in our backyard and it's it's nipple high on me it's not that deep you that's can a visual i did not deep. want to have tonight but there it well, is now you're imagining where my nipples are. how do you want to know i'm not gonna i'm, They're I'm, not blocking, the normal it. I'm blocking it and uh <laughs> he was really nervous in the pool too and it's like dude just stand not that hard, but like you could tell him, I was like, "Yeah, we're 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 not going on the river." I've seen that on the river, you know, like a bunch of drunk people kayaking. Somebody's like, "Yeah, oh, it's there, look, it's stand up." What? Stand, stand up. up. It's two feet deep. Stand up. Really, not that hard. Yeah. All right, so we've talked about kayaking. Let's talk about these beers. I'm gonna let you go first this time. All right. So this I'm is so the Four Claw Westbrook Brewing Triple India Pale, ten point five percent. Says it was inevitable. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's an inside joke. It was inevitable. They got like a crab, a couple shells. So this is a triple India Pale Ale, kind of my Bailey Wick. Mm. Super, super milkshake fuzzy. Oh yeah, four and a half, easy. Four and a half. Maybe four. Now let me do the four seven five. This is we did all these the other week, and this one's really good. We should have done this one. Say, do you almost wish we had had that? Yeah, we should have had that the other week. All right, I'll uh, I'll, I'll allow it. It it does. It looks sort of like you might be chewing on it a little bit. Oh yeah, definitely got a good mouthfeel. It looks beautiful. All right, so I've got the Edmonds Oast Verity Rex Double India Pale Ale, uh, nine point five percent ABV. So uh, yeah, right doing pretty there. pretty all right there. Like I said, the label knocks it out of the park. Mm-hmm. it's good and you know what it's great <laughs> i'm 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 gonna go ahead and line up with you it's of course not hazy so uh doesn't yeah, but you know, have we're, that full mouth feel, we're but a little it, tired of that anyway it's definitely extremely rich i'll, I'll go with a 4.75 for the edmunds oast verity rex double india pale ale and uh that's gonna do it for another edition of bruise day tuesday brought to you by the cellar restaurant and six-pack store see you next week huck I'll be here or somewhere. All right. Back into the rock on 105.3 The Bear.